Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. My name is Suraya Sayed, Microsoft Certified Trainer. In this video, you will learn what a header and footer is and where it is located in Excel. Headers and footers are used to add the same information on every page of the spreadsheet without actually typing the information on each page. Headers and footers are text that print at the top for headers and at the bottom for footers of each page in each sheet. They contain information such as titles, dates, and or page numbers. You can insert header or footers in page layout view where you can see them. Headers and footers are not displayed on the worksheet in normal view. They are displayed only in page layout view and on the printed page. To add a header, click the left, center or right header text box at the top of the worksheet page. And to add a footer, click left, center, right footer text box. Manually type the information that you want to show on the footer, like the name of your company. Then click the bottom center section of the footer and type my name. Finally, click the right section in the footer and type the name of the course. Click anywhere to deselect. Excel will repeat this footer on each page. Also, you can format the text in a header or footer just as you would any cell data. There are two other ways to add data to headers or footers. Instead of manually type the information you can select from predefined headers and footers. You can select from drop down menus to create a standard header and footer text. You also can create a custom header or footer in addition to header or footer items such as the page number, file name, and date or time. You can insert and format a picture. To create custom header and footer, click click any option that you want to add in the header and footer element group. Page number will insert a code that indicate the page number. Number of pages, insert a code that indicates the total number of pages. Current date or current time, insert the print date or time of day. File path, file name or sheet name include file information. Picture insert a graphic image such as a company logo. Finally, format picture, resize and rotate or crop a header or photographic image.
There is predefined header and footer information in Excel, which you can apply in the worksheet. In the page layout view, click on any section of header or footer. Choose header and footer tools. In the design tab on the header and footer group, select any choice from the header or footer drop down list for a different first page header and footer click the checkbox to the left of different first page header in the option group then start to type a new header for the first page when you finish you will find that the header of the first page is different than other pages and to make different odd and even pages header and footer uncheck the different first page then check different odd and even pages start to type a new header deselect the header then you will have different odd and even pages navigate to the second page which is even page and type a different header so you have different even and different odd header as you see You can also use the page setup dialog box if you want to insert headers and footers for more than one worksheet at the same time. By selecting all sheets together, from the page layout tab, click the dialog box launcher. The page setup dialog box is opened. Click the header and footer tab, then start to create your custom header. The header dialog box is opened and it is divided into three sections. The left section, let's insert the page number, then manually type of making space also, then click total page numbers in the center section click to add the sheet name and at the last section click to add the logo of the company but it is still very large pictures we need to customize and format it by resizing it to be 0.4 centimeters click ok this will be the view of the preview of the header and we can do the same for creating custom footer by adding for example date and space then insert the time code also we can add the file name click ok then finish to view a preview of the printed page from the printed preview icon click the preview button here you can see the final preview of the sheet but the picture still need for more adjustment so we can resize it again by repeating the previous process thank you for watching edupedia world videos see you at the next video